here this video is uh, regarding the bank receipt and bank payment voucher how to record bank receipt and bank payment okay it's a voucher means we have to go voucher types okay accounting info ledger we have already created here is a voucher types go into the click the voucher types here it's a create create option go to the create option name bank receipt <coughs> okay it's taking some time so okay get your tally from that in accounting info then voucher type then create name bank receipt okay we are going to pay actually if you want to divide bank receipt bank payment is separate in for example there is only one voucher bank if you want to create separate for receipt and separate for payment for example receipt 1 receipt 2 receipt 3 receipt 4 like this payment 1 payment 2 payment 3 voucher payment 4 voucher that's why we have to create separate voucher okay bank receipt voucher no need for alias here types of voucher is a Which types of voucher? Bank receipts, receipt voucher. Okay. Types of voucher is a receipts voucher. Abbreviation automatically displayed. Method of vouchering. Method of vouchering is a automatic. We have to select automatic because automatic it will take. Use advanced configuration. Yes, here. enter and you will go it will take you another window starting number 1 yes width of numerical parts zero no need okay prefill with zero no need we don't want to prefill your fill anything so no start definitely from 1st april and okay starting number should be one only and particular yearly we want to types of periods yearly we want to see okay then here prefix detail this that one is a restarting here is a restarting now it's a prefix detail applicable from when we have to start 1st april okay particular prefix means how it will be appeared for example how it should be appeared br bank receipt like one slash means after that here 1 2 3 4 like 1 2 3 4 by default it will appear by default it will be appear now go to the suffix here you will find means any date if you want if you you want to put april here if you want to put you can take slash 06 slash 07 means 6 to 7 for example 2006 to 7 2008 to 9 2009 to 10 anything we can take okay it's okay now effective use effective dates for voucher okay make a uh, no problem make optional as a default okay use common narration yes you can put yes narration for each entry no need okay print after saving if you want to print after saving you can put yes print format for print formal receipt after saving print formal receipt how you want to be means how should be it will look like okay so you want to save you can save okay save this bank receipt voucher now go to the same thing like this bank payment voucher how we can calculate the bank payment means how we want to prepare against the procedure we are following accounting info voucher types create bank payment bank payment voucher okay here is a payment select the payment use automatic method of cal uh, voucher met numbering automatic method of voucher numbering numbering is automatic 1 2 3 4 advanced configuration yes 
here in press center you will it will leave you means old window and it will come a new window it will bring you a new window then starting number one definitely with nothing we don't want refill with zero no first april definitely we want to start yearly we have to do here is a applicable prefix first starting from first april and what we have to write bank bp bank payment slash after slash it will be up here one two three like okay here what will we do zero six two seven zero six two zero seven zero eight two zero nine like this we can prepare here okay effective dates for voucher no separate make optional no use common narration yes narration for each entry no need print after saving if you want to print you can do it put yes then save the voucher okay this is how bank receipt and bank payment voucher will be prepared okay